smoke right over the top of it. Yeah, but it can also change pretty quickly. Ten minutes actually today, the wind started coming from um, in front of the studio and then from the back it changed. Yeah, well, I'm just trying to think what's the, what should we do here precaution-wise. Now it's coming this way. So that is a massive fire over in Calistoga. Um, that is, as the bird flies, I think about five and a half miles away from here, just over the second ridge away from us. The wind is gusting probably about 30 miles an hour. It's super strong and it's shifting really, uh, really quickly. So I think, I think that's everything for me. And, nope. All right, here we go. So in the span of about an hour and 15 minutes, it looks like the wind just completely picked up uh, even more intensely than it already was. Um, people are uh, evacuating now from the valley floor on the opposite side of where the fire started uh, five miles away from in the beginning. So this has gotten, oh my God, this has gotten insane. So I just came around. Okay, they're starting to cordon off everything here. This is getting really, really intense really quickly. So the fire has made its way down into the valley that we're staying in, which is uh, Santa Rosa. Um, from where the fire started, there were two fires. There was one over in Lake Berryessa, which is down middle part of the Napa Valley, uh, and over on the eastern side. And there was another one in Calistoga, which is in the upper portion of Napa Valley. And that one was the one that just climbed a hill in the span of about an hour and 15 minutes and went five miles and is now uh, coming down into the Santa Rosa Valley. So I am in a, I'm in a procession of cars right here and we are, traveling towards uh we're traveling westbound right now I'm trying to get away from um all of the traffic and people trying to get out this is absolutely insane in terms of the scope of it uh, when the sun rises and the other thing is that um, that we've got uh, we've got air fire support that cannot take place until daylight hours so that should help too once we uh, get into the daylight hours now though what we need is help getting around Sonoma County it's 535 let's go to Ted Stevens uh, in the traffic center good morning to you Ted Wildfires in the North Bay have closed a number of roadways and freeways in Sonoma County. Let's start with the two right lanes that are blocked for an earlier car fire southbound 101 after Steel Lane. Expect a long, long delays as this car apparently has melted to the ground. Southbound 101 between downtown Santa Rosa exit and Golf Course Drive. Stop and go conditions at stop and go again through the Katati grade from Pepper Road right to San Antonio Road.
Road and a full freeway closure on north and southbound 101 uh, between Bicentennial Way and Mark West Springs Road. Lakeville Highway also remains closed between Highway 37 and Stage Gulch Road and 37 both directions between 101 and the Mare Island Bridge remains closed. Highway 12 also closed from Leveroni Road right out to 121. I'm Ted Stevens in the KSRO Traffic Center. Thank you, Ted. We are going to be counting on... All right, so I think I'm I'm below, as in south, of the road closures. Um, they reported just before I started recording that the fire jumped the freeway north of me while I was sleeping. So that was the glow to the north, and then to the east it was the Santa Rosa um, fires that went down... Uh, through Glen Ellen and Kenwood and then Oakmont, which were areas that were later affected, but I was pretty much at ground zero um, for this whole thing happening. And it's just one fire truck after ambulance after the next. It's uh, they're, they're coming up in convoys now. So uh, hoping I am south of the road closures on the 101, but I don't really know. I don't know where Bicentennial Way is. I'm hoping I'm south of it. But it looks like uh, it looks like this traffic might just be due to a car accident or a car fire, or whatever she was saying. It is 7:10 in the morning in San Francisco, and everything everything is smoky. You can't see to the bridge on one side, and downtown only in the distance on the other side. But this is. 60 miles away from the epicenter after seven hours of burning. Kind of crazy, but I made it to San Francisco.